Good evening, YouTube. I'm back again. I got another video for you, and after days, probably weeks, of debating doing a review for this album, the day finally comes. I'm reviewing it, reviewing it tonight. Um, this is just an album. The reason why I'm doing another Asia album review is because I, I've been getting really good feedback from uh, the YouTube users who have seen my Asia album reviews and they like my reviews so it inspired me to do more. Uh, if you like this one and if you haven't seen the previous ones I've done, Arena, Astra, and Gravisus. So go look at those and if you like those um, and you want me to do more, I'll be happy to do more Asia reviews because they're fun. It's, I, I found they're one of the bands that I get some feedback from, and I'm glad people are liking these reviews. Uh, and I just like to do Asia album reviews just because they're fun. Um, so I'm going to give this one a review. This is one I've been really wanting to review. This is a very important album, I think, for the band. Um, it starts a changing point. It was their you know, first in a series of albums with the new lead singer. It's this album right here, and I'm going to hold this up, and I want you to give a good look at that cover art. Asia's Aqua from 1992. This is their fifth album, and their first album, this is the first Asia album, with this gentleman right here, John Payne. Uh, my main man, a guy I've had the pleasure of seeing and meeting and getting an autograph from, uh, but that's for another story. All right, so this is, I think, a very important Asia album. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do a little brief summary about my thoughts before I get into the actual review. Uh, I remember years ago I saw this, this CD used at a half-price bookstore, and I previewed the song Who Will Stop the Rain just because I thought the album cover was so great. That's why I said take a close look at this album cover. I think this is the best album cover. They have a lot of great album covers, but this is my number one favorite album cover. And I wish I could still get that shirt. They used to have a shirt for this back in the 90s, but it's really hard to get now. So I downloaded a song called Who Will Stop the Rain to preview it. And it was the first song I'd ever heard with John Payne, and I absolutely loved it. I just thought, oh, I've got to, I've got to hear the rest of this album. I, I, I just I got to. And then I did I did uh, preview the rest of the album, and uh, I absolutely hated it. I just thought it sounded too hair metal, and they looked like a hair metal band in this, and there's heavy metal guitar sounds, kind of like what Mandy Meyer kind of sounded like on Astro, but to me, I thought that worked. I even went a few years back and put a negative review on Amazon. Please don't read that. Uh, but the thing is, I, I kept listening to this album because I'm thinking, like, who will stop the rain? It's such a great song. I just kept listening to it, and I just finished listening to it to, again tonight. The CD just stopped, and that's why I hit record on the webcam to do a thorough album review. Um, and this is my thoughts on the album now. First of all, I'm going to say what the lineup on this album is. It's kind of confusing, but it's got, you know, Jeffrey Downs is there, and, of course, newcomer, uh vocalist and bassist uh, with a few lyrics on here I think he didn't write all the lyrics but um, uh, there is John Payne and you do have Carl Palmer and Steve Howe on here but they don't play on the whole album um, Steve Howe only plays I think on six songs on this record and then you have another guitar player a very heavy metal guy named Al Petrelli who later went on to play on Megadeth's worst ever album, The System Has Failed. No, I'm sorry, not The System Has Failed. The World Needs a Hero. The System Has Failed was actually pretty good. But The World Needs a Hero. He went on to do Megadeth in 2001, I believe. And from what I've heard now, he plays with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I never really knew too much about them. So that's the lineup. I'm not sure how much Carl Palmer plays on this, but I can tell what most of the guitar parts... Uh, I can usually differentiate Steve House playing and Al Petrelli's playing. 
And as a session musician, a uh, huge drummer, Simon Phillips, plays on this as well. But it doesn't say which songs which drummer plays. So we started the album off with an instrumental, and kind of not ambient, but experimental Spanish guitar piece called Aqua. It starts off with waves and seagulls, and then you get into like Jeffrey's keyboards and, and uh, Steve Howe's Spanish guitar. It's a nice, interesting opening piece. You know, it's all right. It, it's a good thing. It's not too long. It's only two minutes and two and a half minutes, basically. And then we go on to the hits. The single, the one that I loved, that I wanted the album for, not just for the cover, but Who Will Stop the Rain. Probably my favorite, number one fa favorite ever Asia song, at least with John Payne. This is the song that really hits me every time. It is like the greatest song I've ever heard from Asia. It's just, it's, it's starts off with a keyboard, a very bold keyboard sound from Jeffrey Downs. Then the drums kick in and you hear that rhythmical guitar part and a nice rhythm from the bass by John Payne. And then uh, John Payne uh, sings harmony vocals with the uh, chorus and, uh, and he just belts it out. He sings and his voice sounds great. This is his first album and he just sounds, we get to hear that that signature voice that he has for the first time if you had bought this when it came out which I didn't but um, yeah this is a great rocking song this is one that I just like it's fiery it's, it's fiery it's very it's very much a kick in the gut I would say and uh, it, it the way it ends is really cool too because it's got like this like African or some kind of a tribe sounds like some kind of African or Australian tribe chanting at the end and it's really really cool so who will stop the rain definitely if you have not heard that yet it is on YouTube listen to who will stop the rain if you want to hear my number one ever favorite Asia song it's great number two I'm sorry number three because Aqua was Aqua one was number one lay down your arms is another pretty good it's a pop rocker but I do like this one it's uh it took a while to grow on me but I, I finally said I finally saw this was a good song. Another one that starts off with uh, keyboards and some guitar from Al Petrelli. And, uh, you know, John singing his, uh, the words over this. And then the drums kick in and then you hear, like, John singing with a, with a chorus and sounds really good. Um, so Lay Down Your Arms is another good, so the album starts off really well. Going on to three, uh, sorry, four. Uh, Heaven, in Earth, Heaven on Earth. <laughs> Heaven and Earth was the new Yes album, which I still haven't listened to. I don't even have any interest in hearing the new Yes album. I haven't even heard Jonathan Davison sing. But anyway, Heaven on Earth uh, is a very good one. I really like this one. It's it's slow, but it has a good, nice rock feeling to it. And this is another one that I really do like. I like, I like the way that John's vocal delivery is on this. So I really do like Heaven on Earth. Uh, another good one. And then Five, Someday is a good rocker. This one has got a really good uh, good like groove to it. The rhythm on this is really good. And the chorus is there. There's this chorus. And John is just belting out, just singing with all the passion that he has on Someday. And I really do like this one a lot. This is one... That this this one really grew on me. Like I said, remember remember what I said about in the beginning. I absolutely hated this album. Besides, who will stop the rain on the cover art? But I, I just kept listening to it. I guess as I got older, I just started. I just I saw that this was actually a pretty good album. Um, so yeah, there's some stuff. It actually got better with me, and uh, I quite like some of this. Crime of the Heart is a uh, ballad. Reminds me kind of like something that Journey would do with open arms. This kind of sounds like the open arms. So I think this is garbage because I do not like ballads. Um, I just don't like power ballads. Ballads I think are sappy. I think bands should just rock and not. I mean, there's a, there's a difference between ballads and power ballads. This is definitely a power ballad. I don't like it. Um, it's too too much like Journey or or Foreigner or even Air Supply to me. It's just I don't like it. I like. I like it when they rock. Like the next one, song number seven, which is A Far Cry. This is a really good rocker. This one I definitely recommend. Check out A Far Cry. Uh, this, I hope, is on YouTube. Um, 
the Far Cry is a really good rocker. This one really grew on me too. Um, and it's also got that great big chorus, you know, singing, and John Payne just carrying over the vocals. And the bass is good on this. I like the bass. So a Far Cry is another winner. Back in Town was one I always had a problem with. This one just sounds weird. Like it sounds really kind of silly. It just sounds like it's, you know, this kind of sounds, this album, as much as it has grown on me, I still have to say it does sound lost in time. It does have this 80s hair metal kind of sound to it. Kind of like how Astra did. Uh, but, you know, it just sounds kind of like an 80s album uh, stuck in 1992. It's not bad, I mean, really, because it did grow on me, and then this is one I do pull out a lot and listen to, but like I said, I just couldn't, other than Who Will Stop the Rain, I just couldn't get into any of these songs, and, and finally I just got some of it. There's still some, as you can tell, I don't I don't care for some of this. Uh, back in Town, um, I don't know, it's just a little weird. It just doesn't, I just don't think this is that great of a song. And then we go to Don't Call Me, which is more or less the same thing. Uh, I, I find Don't Call Me pretty flat. I think it's weak. It's on the flat side. Uh, I don't really like it too much. Um, Love Under Fire is decent. Uh, has has some nice... I like the, the keyboard, the kind of the intro. sounds kind of... I picture a rainforest when I hear it for some reason. Yeah, John's vocal sounds good. It's a decent song. It's not bad. Not not a huge winner for me, but I you know I can listen to it. Uh, going on to the Voice of Reason, it's pretty forgettable. I mean, some Asia fans might really like that song. I don't really particularly care for the Voice of Reason. Uh, so we end the album with the second uh, part of Aqua. So it's Aqua Two, which is another instrumental, and. I don't really think this is as interesting as Aqua 1, although Aqua 1 wasn't amazing to begin with. It was a nice, relaxing opener, but I wouldn't really call it an amazing song. But this does have some, some good moments on it. There is some stuff on Aqua that I really, really, really do like. Um, I definitely recommend that uh, Asia fans check this out. Uh, if you have not heard uh, the John Payne era Asia but you're a big fan of the first album and if you followed up from them getting back together since 2006 making albums from 2008 onward from Phoenix up to uh, 30 and then getting a new guitar player with Sam Callison with Gravisus uh, I definitely would recommend checking this out you might not like it. it's very different I definitely will say that John Payne brought more of a harder edge attitude toward the band as did John Wetton, which I think was a good thing because I didn't want, you know, I don't really want when there's a new singer-songwriter coming in, I don't want a clone of that exact same person. I want them to write the way what they feel. And I like John Payne's work. I like a lot of what he's written for Asia. So now it's time. I've gone through the whole album, and so now I'm going to give this a grade. I'll just, after listening to this, uh, after I just finished listening to it right before I hit record, I think the best I can give this is a B. This has really aged really well for me. This is actually, uh, I mean, at first I thought this album and the one after that, Aria, were just too much hair metal sounding. But for whatever reason, it I kept listening to it and, uh, you know, it grew on me. And even Aria is growing on me. Um, Aria, I guess, is for another review. If you want to see me do Aria, I would love to do it. I'll have to listen to it a few more times to make it you know, the best review I can. But I'll give Asia's Aqua a B. Uh, the album cover gets a complete A+. Plus. That's like the coolest album cover ever. You know, awesome. Dolphin with wings in an underwater space age future world. And uh, for the record, as I said, Who Will Stop the Rain? I have to, I have to give this one song a great loan. Uh, my favorite ever, ever Asia song, Who Will Stop the Rain? Um, a+. Plus. Listen to Who Will Stop the Rain. Uh, John Payne fans, I'm sure you've heard this. Uh, let me know what you think of this album, Aqua. Let me, tell you, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below in the uh, comments. Uh, tell me what you thought of Aqua and the other John Payne. 
Asia and what Asia you like best? Uh, original Asia, John Wett in Asia, or John Payne? You know, um, I like them both. I happen to love them both. All right. Well, there's my review. It took forever for me to do this one. Finally did it. I might do some more Asia. If you would like to see an Asia, if you have a request, uh, once again, the albums I've done as I've done this one, Aqua, I've done Astra, Gravitas, and Arena. So go look at, look for those if you like this one, if you have not seen them yet. If there's a specific Asia album you want me to review, probably the first one since everyone has that one. It's fine. I'll do it. Uh, any album... Um, the only one I can't quite do right now is Alpha, because I don't have a copy of that, but I have a copy of all their other albums. I never got around to getting Alpha, but I can I can do I can even do Then and Now, because there's some new stuff on that one. I do have Then and Now. So, uh, yeah, I believe Alpha's the only one I don't have, not counting Archival 1 and 2. All right, well, thanks for watching. As again, one more time, uh, Asia's Aqua gets a B. Uh... Rodney Matthews cover art, not Roger Dean, but very similar to Roger Dean. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's uh, the fourth Asia review, so that's episode four in Asia album reviews. All right, have a good night. I will see you whenever my next video is, uh, hopefully not too long. I'll probably go to my CD library in my bedroom and see what Asia album I want to do, unless you pick one for me. All right, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review.